Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about the vital role of ETBR, which is Ethidium bromide in the DNA gel electrophoresis. As you know, DNA gel electrophoresis is a technique which is widely used in molecular biology and biotech lab to analyze and separate fragments based on their size. It has already revolutionized the field, allowing scientists and researchers to unlock the secret hidden within the DNA molecule. But have you ever wondered what role does ETBR plays in the process? ETBR, which is known as Ethidium bromide, is a fluorescent dye commonly used in DNA gel electrophoresis. Its primary function is to visualize the DNA fragment as they migrate through the gel. So let's find out how does it work. During a gel electrophoresis, a DNA sample is loaded into a gel matrix and subjected to electric field. The DNA fragment, which is negatively charged due to their phosphate backbone, begin to move toward the positive electrode. ETBR intercalates itself between the base pair of the DNA molecule. This intercalation process causes the dye to become fluorescent, emitting a visual right signal under the UV right. This fluorescence enables researchers to observe and photograph the DNA fragment as they travel through the gel. Thanks to ETBR, we can easily visualize the separated DNA fragment as distinct band or pattern on the gel. By comparing the size of these bands to the known DNA marker, scientists and researchers can determine the approximate size of the fragment in the sample. This information is crucial in various areas of research from genetic diagnostic to the genetic engineering and cloning. However, it is important to note that ETBR is a hazardous substance. It's a mutagen and a potential carcinogen. So proper safety precautions should be followed when you are handling and disposing of it while performing your experiment. Many labs now use safer alternatives such as safer dye or non-toxic DNA strain to mitigate these risks. I have already made one video in this regard. If anyone is interested, may watch that video also. In summary, ETBR plays a vital role in DNA electrophoresis by allowing scientists to visualize DNA fragments as they migrate through the gel matrix. Its fluorescence under UV provide a clear and distinct image, aiding in the analysis and interpretation of DNA fragment size. And that's wrap up for the today's exploration for role of ETBR in DNA electrophoresis. I hope you have found this glimpse into the world of biotech enlightening. Stay curious, keep exploring and see you next time. Thank you.